This video is sponsored by Femoid.com, the best way to get social media followers in just one click. Before we move further, make sure you have unlocked your phone's bootloader and have flashed a custom recovery on it. To know how to unlock the bootloader and flash custom recovery, check the video link given in the description below. First, you may have to download this vendor file in case you face GPS and similar issues on your ROM. On this page, click this download button. And on the next page, click download anyway. Download this file to your desired location. Now, you need to download the custom ROM for your phone. So, go to this website called download.pixelexperience.org. Once, you are on this page, you will see the search bar. So, enter your model name and hit enter. If you can't see your device name, then search for custom ROM on the XD developer's website. These are the ROMs available to you to download. The bottom two are discontinued with no more support, and the top two are the latest ones. We'll download the Plus Edition with extra features. This is for the installation guide, and this for forum discussion. These are the most recent updates. Here, you can get details about the ROM. And this is the changelog section that contains details about new changes, features, and bug fixes. So, click this download build button to download the ROM. And when the link is ready, click download now. Now download this file to your desired location. Now, we have to download matches to get root access to our phone. So, go to this website showing on your screen. You can check the video description for the direct link. You can skip this step if you don't want to root your phone. Once you are here on this page, scroll down a bit to the download section. Here, this is to download stable builds, this is to download beta builds, and this is for canary builds. We will download the stable build, so we'll click this button. Here, you will see the latest release. Scroll down to the bottom. And from the asset section, download the APK file, the first one. Switch off your phone. and then press volume down and power key simultaneously to boot into recovery mode. It is different for different devices, so search for your device how you can do that. We are currently in the fast boot mode. We have to use the volume keys to make changes and the power key to confirm. By pressing the volume key we have changed it to recovery mode, so let's boot into it by pressing the power key. When you enter recovery mode, type in your password if you have it on your phone. Then swipe to allow modification. Now click wipe. And then format data. Here, type yes and hit enter to confirm. But, make sure you have already taken a full backup of your phone, as it will wipe all the data including the internal storage. After that, click Reboot, and then click Recovery. Here, again type in your password, and then swipe to allow modification. And then again, click Wipe, and then click Advanced Wipe. Now, tick the data. Vendor. Dalvikar Cache, and Cache Option, and then swipe to wipe them all. Now click install, and then go to the location where you have moved the downloaded files. Here are all these files. First, click the vendor file, and then swipe to flash it. After that, click on the ROM, 
and then swipe to flash it. In the end, we have to flash this magisk file, but it is in the APK format. We have to change its extension. So click Advanced. And then click File Manager. Go to the location where you have that magisk file. Once you are there, click on that file. And then click Rename File. Now, erase the APK extension, and type zip, and hit Enter to confirm. As you can see it is now in the zip format. Again click install. And then click the magisk file. And swipe to flash it. That's it. So this is all in this video, we hope you liked it. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.